What's going on guys, it's David here, back with another video. You know I've not posted in a little while, partly I've just been super busy, the other part I've just been a bit lazy, but it is what it is. Anyway, so today actually I want to talk about the sumo deadlift, what my own personal experience has been with it so far, why I really dislike it as a general exercise, and finally, um, just generally talking about my own progression um, with actually trying the exercise out and actually finding out how much progress I've made. The answer is not that much. Framing up why I ended up getting, getting to sumo specifically as an exercise, um, even though I hate it and prefer conventional. Um, so to start off, when I finished off my powerlifting program back in January, I actually wanted to try something a little different. And so um, I ended up writing up a program that involved the front squat, um, overhead press as a general exercise, and also then I was left with um, the sumo deadlift to be added in just as a general bit of fun. Um, partly why I chose those exercises was, be, was mainly because there's something different, they add a lot of value in their own little ways, and also for me it just actually just changed things up a little bit compared to the usual big three of squat bench and deadlift so yeah it's quite enjoyable on myself as a deadlifter i've always pulled conventional probably will always pull conventional really don't like sumo for a variety of different reasons um more so just less range of motion, it doesn't look as badass, it's a bit of a weird one to watch people do in terms of actually setting up, and generally it's not as sexy. But for me anyway, um, my best deadlift conventional is 180 kilos, so I thought I'd actually give this a try, um, just as a basic basis to actually figure out and see if it actually had any transfer over. Um, so starting off my own personal experience with this, um, I ended up trying to max out initially just after my program um, and I ended up getting 145 for 5 reps which was actually pretty solid um, bearing in mind this is you know me just figuring it out along the way you know as a first timer just playing around with it and just seeing where it goes so breaking down some of the difficulties that I've certainly had with the sumo would include feet stance, how wide I should be placing on my feet, which obviously impacts my stability, um, and two, uh, my overall hip mobility, which has a strong interlinking with that. Um, when it comes to me actually pulling uh, with sumo, obviously one thing I noticed is rather than actually uh, being able to dip my being able to dip my hips a bit lower, I generally just sort of pull with my back. Um, which actually creates a more, a less efficient pull uh, than actually intended. So here with 120, um, I kind of just do that again. Um, I think the main pro proponent of that is just the fact that I can't set my hips low enough um, to actually make a nice and efficient pull to actually kind of, um, I think the best way to put it is actually pull and slack out of the bar and because I can't really do that, it just makes it that much more difficult on the floor compared to if I was pulling conventional, it uh, becomes a little bit easier. I mean, same here, when we actually watch that, you know, yes, it moves smoothly, but it's not particularly great in terms of actually how fit, in terms of efficiency. Here, you can see as I initiate on the floor, and getting it off the ground it moves really slowly I don't end up making it just because I was just tired and the efficiency wasn't great so end up dropping the weight down um, so I'm put some and a half on the bar um, end up spending some time making sure it's set up properly um, do initiate the first pull it's fine but the hips shift up a little too high at the start um, on the second rep, it's pretty much the same, but I'm basically muscling it up with all my might and end up getting it, which is beautiful, but not great, um, in my personal opinion. But So this is week, uh, the week after of that session. Again, 
we're setting up with Sumo, I'm just trying to make sure that I'm fairly consistent and as perfect as I can be with my feet first of all. Um, and then obviously set my hands correctly and as we go forward with it, really just trying to make sure I'm able to set my hips down as low as I can. But make sure I use those glutes um, and hammies to actually initiate the pull. So as we start the pull, it slack comes out out of the bar, um, however it doesn't really move. And so we just decided to switch to conventional and just hope for the best um, for the rest of the three sets. And it comes off quite easily off the ground without any issues whatsoever. And to be fair, in my own mind actually I thought this is a bit of a joke. Um, because this is so freaking easy for me um, and sumo is freaking hard as fuck so moving through with the final set it was literally so easy that I barely had to take any rest or anything and I think the moral of the story is don't pull sumo so in essence this is it for the video Thanks guys for watching. So coming up next week, I'll be going through sort of my um, front squat and overhead progress. So I'll see you then. Bye bye.